Hey guys, guess what? It's time for a new show. It's awesome, that that's great. Yeah. New episode. Yeah. Uh, who's hosting? I don't want to host. I don't want to host this week. John, do you want to host this week? Uh, no, I'm playing Horror Warriors. Okay, more on that later, I guess. <laughs> no, uh, like I'm actually right now playing. Yeah, Horror well, I'm sure we'll hear. I'm sure we'll hear about hey. it later. I'm sorry. I am Paul, too. do you do you want to? Uh, do you want to host this week? Do you want fuck, to be the host? Fuck no, I'm playing Hyrule Warriors. It's right here. <laughs> Are you too? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Can we just well, stop the podcast? And just, do that? just continue some Hyrule Warriors. Well, who's going to host the show this week? I, I guess I could. I don't know. If you guys are busy. <laughs> what? Oh, no. What? Yeah. I don't I don't have Hyrule Warriors. I looked at it today, though. It was 55 bucks, and I went, maybe. But then I, I left with the second Wait, should we all hold up our copies of Hyrule Warriors? Should I go grab mine? What? You guys? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, have a, I have a pad. Okay, I'll be right back. Right, I could so actually yeah. use feedback right here. on this game. You can hear it. It's a good pushing decision. Sweet. I'm recapturing the Deku Tree. Hyrule Wait. Warriors. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> you like Dynasty Warriors? I I haven't played one in so long. I'm willing to give it another try. Hey, that battery's <laughs> getting low. I better turn that off. But hey, um, it's, it's a top-down perspective. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> October 2nd, 2014. Yeah. Oh, man, uh, Marshall's going nuts. He's yeah. happy. <laughs> I, I don't know. Welcome back. I'm hey. I'm here to mostly talk about something, but forget about that. What have you guys been playing? Wait, Who are we? Got to introduce us. Come on, man. Uh, man. Okay, <laughs> yeah. We got Sean. I'm here. Sean. Yo. And Paul. Hi. And, and they're video game guys. They play games. They play <laughs> High Rule Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> we are I, I don't know. video game guys. Yeah, I play old Nintendo games now, so that's why I'm no longer. Wait, so you're John? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Well, you're playing the hottest, newest Nintendo game, so that's I, not I true. Know. I'm playing the hottest, newest. I am like too. Half, face. I'm playing through Yoshi's Island for Super Nintendo for my channel. <laughs> okay, fair. There's a sequel to that, but no there one is, and it's terrible. terrible. If you're trying uh, to tell right. John he's playing new games, he'll get right in your face about that. No, he's not. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's never. So, I don't have no game. class. <laughs> I was I was playing school. Lemmings on the Genesis today, so that's an old game, right, guys? Yeah. Hey, actually, John, it. you're the old games guy. Is this a Mega Drive or a Genesis on it? Uh, I, but the Mega, it's the Mega big. Drive is the European name for the Genesis. But does it yeah. say Mega Drive on it, or does it still? No, say it says Genesis, but it's you're, weird and big. You're playing the Mark One Genesis. The Mark, Mark Two is the one you're thinking of, which is the slim one, and then there's the Genesis Three, which is the super tiny one. So this plays Zany Golf. This that plays Sega Genesis and Sega CD and Sega 32X. If you have all the adapters. Okay. Cool. Cool. So wait, what, 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 wait, what do I have? It's like just black. It's pretty, you know, plasticky looking. Is it roughly actually square shaped instead of that rectangle? That's, think, that's the other I, one. I think so. It's a Genesis. Then that'd be the Genesis 2. Mm -hmm. uh, unless it's smaller than your Hyrule Warriors case, then it's a Genesis 3. Okay, it's a Genesis 2. Okay. Genesis 3? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> is that a real thing? Yeah, Genesis 3 is a real thing. Okay. All right. All right. They're like um, maybe a little bit bigger than this. Like that's maybe like, like this tall, maybe about this wide. Could you still bolt on all the stuff to it? No, to it, it, was on? Only, it was only a Genesis. Okay. It, it came out, I think, when the Saturn was already out. Okay. I have one of those. But hey, enough about Sega history for now. What has Sean been playing this week? Boom. What have I been playing? I've been playing some Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Still enjoying it? Oh my gosh, it got better. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell? What was up with these people? Like, yeah, it just kind of gets. Eh, I don't know on. where you heard that from, but like two nights Apparently ago, they're all full of it. I finished chapter four. That game is just totally cool. With like, guess what? This character's dead. <laughs> okay. That they did that in the first game, where it's like you're a ghost now. You have. But to that was consult. that was literally the plot of the first game. Was just like, yeah, we need where you're you solve murders. No, but they're killing off like core people. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, so late people dead. too. I'm not spoiling any more Late than that. Layton himself I'm, is dead. I'm not spoiling anything else. I'm just like at saying. at the end of the game, he's got one arm and like an eye patch. And <laughs> it's the it's actually. Metal Gear? It's. Oh, I, the things you're saying, it's funny how close they actually are. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. But I, I don't want to say more than that. So stop. I can tell you about it after okay. the show if you have no interest in playing this. 
This well, might be my favorite Professor Layton game. Oh, it is, wow. It gets so dark that hmm. they're doing such significant story beats into it. I am just, like, every every chapter, I'm just like, how does it keep getting better? How so is this happening? The, the page turner quality of, like, a ghost trick or something. It's got Easily. that. Yeah. Like, novel. it is straight up, like, guess what? Boom. Ch- to be continued. Next chapter starts. It's like, well, I gotta keep playing. Exactly. I, yeah. I, okay. And I'm only happy. How does it. is it using 3D at all? Like you're tw- tilt- tilting and moving. You're not stuff? tilting, but it you know it has 3D like the other 3DS Professor Layton games. I usually oh. have that off because I don't. But like none of the puzzles. No. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. And uh, you know the trial sections are you know you got your Phoenix Wright funny in there. Mm-hmm. Th- those the characters you're interrogating they're like the worst people, but they're pretty funny. That guy's always last drunk. Layton? Like was it Miracle Mask? Uh, no. Last Lightning was um, earlier this year. The, that was, oh, it was this year, you're right. Uh, Civilization A or Generation A. It was the one I didn't like very much. Oh, I thought you didn't like Miracle Mask much either. No, I, I like Miracle like, Mask. Miracle Mask oh, okay, is okay. I thought totally the normal. ones in general so kind of who dropped. did all the writing on this one? Was it all uh, Capcom? Was it all level 5 or a mix? Do you have I'm any idea? I'm not sure. I'd have to assume it's a mix because it, you know, it feels like both of those. It, it, like... It just feels like they're both bringing their A game. Like, all right. If you like, if you like either of those games individually, I highly recommend this game. If you like them both, this is going to be like your favorite thing. It is. It is like, so much fun. But it's like so much fan service, but good kind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like, none of those games. Well, that's not true. None of the Professor Layton games ever really get that dark. This one's getting dark. This one's super funny. If you like Layton games or Phoenix Wright games, I highly recommend playing this game. Hopefully the second half of it doesn't get bad. I'm only on chapter five right now. Oh, out, okay. of, out of... Uh, it's either nine or ten plus an epilogue. Okay. So halfway. I'm about halfway, yeah. Just before okay. halfway. So there's uh, cool. there's some cool mysteries happen. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, on top of that, I've been playing some more uh, Horizon 2. Nothing too much to report on that at the moment. Um, I reviewed D4 this week. There's a review up on Comic Book Bin. Mm-hmm. This is, my Twitter feed, because I'm following Swery, is just nothing <laughs> but that right yeah. now. Yeah. And it sounds like it's the greatest thing that's happened in a long time. But is it? It's, is pretty, that, ama- it's pretty amazing. Should I buy an Xbox One just to get in that's, on this hype? That's a high price point. <laughs> that's, that's a high it price is. point. Um, is this worth $415? <laughs> That's a high price point. I don't. Okay. okay. I don't think so. But no. yeah, that's I don't know no. what could be. Yeah. What is it? A just murder mystery another system. game? Like what? Yeah. Happens? Basically, it's a point-and-click adventure game. I talked okay. about it a bunch last week. Oh. Okay. Um, it's the correct level of zaniness you want from a sweary game. Um, <clears throat> my one problem with it was that stamina meter that I brought up last time. And every time you interact with something. It drains a bit of your stamina, so there's parts where you have to interact with a lot of things, and you kind of just end up backtracking to the in-game store multiple times to buy a bunch of food, and then go click everything in this room, and then go back to the store and buy a bunch of food, then walk to the next room and click everything in that one, then go back to the the store and buy a bunch of food. Whereas I kind of liked how in Deadly Premonition you just stumble on food in the weirdest places. Like, there's just a jar of pickles in a rusty locker at an abandoned factory, and you're just like, okay, I'll eat that. You'll find weird food as well that'll keep you going a bit longer, but there's so many things to pick on and observe and pick up and observe, and you get rewarded for it that you won't find enough food in the environment. You'll have to go back to the store and buy more. Is there like a narrative reason this stamina thing is a thing or not really? I think it's just I think it's just his stamina. Like he starts getting tired once it gets lower and you know, he starts okay. like panting and stuff. So I, I've been you. investigating too intensely. I gotta go eat some food. Yeah, so... Okay. Well, Weird. you know, he, he time jumps, so maybe he's... It's crazy. It's that really might take weird. it out of you. Yeah, it know. might take it out of you. My other one concern, which this was kind of a, like the good parts and bad parts, <clears throat> is it works with the episodic structure real nice where they'll put some really cool cliffhangers uh, right before the next episode. That's like, wow, I gotta <laughs> see what's happening. But the finale was kind of a letdown because this big revelation happens and you're like, oh man, all right, I'm about to like go face to face with this thing. And then it just cuts and says to be continued, which, yeah, sure, cliffhanger. But it didn't really give like any sort of like 
conclusion to the season whatsoever. Like, often when I think of, like, a season of something, whether it's TV or, like, The Walking Dead or something, at the end of a season, a lot of things get wrapped up, and there's just a few loose tails, you know, a few loose ends to keep you coming back for the next season. This kind of didn't wrap anything up, really. Mm. And, it was just, and it almost just felt like, no, let's cut it here. Just, like, it's like a kind of like an abrupt cut. It just, it just kind of felt odd. Are there plans for more stuff, like imminent or something? Or I'm pretty sure he was saying he wants to make a season two, and I hope so because you know this thing. There's no ending to this, so yeah. Okay. But there's no any release date, and from what I understand, this game's uh, selling pretty poorly. So oh. who knows if that even happens? I See, can't imagine why. Exactly. Well, my echo chamber of Swery's feed made me believe this was like the hottest hit yeah but well, of course he's a developer he's gonna be i know as much but as it's like can. retweeting like articles in france and stuff it's just like man the world is going crazy for d4 right now it's just like no <laughs> i think have a correction it's deadly <laughs> premonition fans are going crazy for d4 right now and they are excitable fans as well so yeah. yeah okay he also likes to retweet and reply to like everyone on his feed so. And follow everyone that followed him. Also, so you should Swery's follow. Just a personal guy. You should follow him on Instagram too. He puts some pretty great pictures all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, especially now that D four was coming out, some pretty good promotional photos of him. There's like a concert or something with the Boston Philharmonic or something. Wait, wait, what? He's there the, right now. Yeah, video games live or whatever. He's there in Boston. Good for okay. him. Okay, but like okay. I think music from the game is being featured or something. Oh, or okay. some poster. But yeah, I D four get. Right. Get hype! I don't yeah, know. It's a weird game, so it's nice that it's good, though. That's that's nice to hear. Yeah, for the most part, like I enjoyed spending time with those characters because they're just incredibly strange. So. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I've been playing is Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. Hooray. Whoa! Yeah. That game's got that duck, right? There's the dog, and he's got a duck, and they haven't unlocked him yet. But uh, oh, Banjo, Banjo Kazooie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not in it, right? No. Rare There's stages. actually a one of the color schemes for Duck Hunt Dog is Banjo Kazooie. Ah, okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, I have a review copy of that, so I'll be reviewing it later. That comes out tonight at midnight, right? That yeah. circle pad. So in certain it? parts of North America, they're already playing it. Whoa. Can you talk really? about it yet, or are you saving that for the... Certain parts of North America? Is, is, isn't East Coast just three hours away, or are they four from me? East Coast is three hours away oh, from it's, you. It's th no, it's three hours away from you guys. No, Isn't East it? Coast is two hours away from us, but remember, there's the Atlantic time zone. There's uh, Mountain. Oh. Right. <laughs> that's wow. Just in that's just in Canada, right? Uh, and I think the very tip of U.S., like, but yeah. Like Rhode okay. Island or something? So there's some Canadians out there playing it right now. Yes. <laughs> okay. And Japan. It's been out in Japan for a while. <clears throat> but I'm also playing it. I got it right. Where's my DS? <gasps> Oh, I thought there was going to be a physical, like, the case. I could get the or's, case, but... Or just downloaded. Oh, well, my DS is over there charging. Okay, I believe there. you. It's, yeah. it's, cool. it's getting ready. Yeah. Um, like, it's, you know, it's Smash Brothers. Like, yeah. <laughs> what what'd you expect? <laughs> it's Smash Brothers. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, my one thing noticing right off the bat is that tiny 3DS screen is small. Are you you're playing? You have the original model, or do you have the XL? Original model. I've never had an issue with it until this game. Sure. Where I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Am like I there's a, too much going on on that? I'm screen. like, the, this is the tiny. I am the biggest person ever. Why is this thing not <laughs> suitable for me? Might as well have Game Boy Mini or something. Put yeah. Smash Bros on it. I might as well just throw it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to sell more XLs. It's so working. Like, How is your plan? Just make it as obnoxious so as possible. So when the new 3DS, 3DS comes out, I might get the new 3DS XL. See, you I'm should. kind of in the same boat. I'm debating if that that will be the thing that will push me over. Is Smash I used Brothers to really Smash. like it being nice, small, and portable. But Smash Brothers, it's like this is a really small screen, and it's just making me kind of want it, like want the Wii U one more. Mm. When is, um, is do they have a day for that yet? Because that was the thing I was so nervous in, about. In it's North just like, America, no. No, there's no way it's coming out this year. I'm calling yeah. it. Like, I yeah, think they, I think they actually said just... 2015 for North America. No, they, they said, said they said end of year 2014. That's the thing. It's not happening. There's no way for the new 3ds. Oh, I thought we were talking about oh, Wii U Smash. Smash. Oh, oh no, no, Wii U Smash is supposed supposedly late November. Right. 
Okay. Well, I don't think they said late November. I think they just said no. End that's of that's the rumor going around. Is late anyway, November. They, like, they've said holiday. I don't, holiday I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening. Mm. That'd be good. <clears throat> I, I would like that. Would be a great time for it to come out. It would mm-hmm. make the most sense. But I just don't. I don't think they're going to hit it either. If they do, they're going to be doing it really close. Um. Anyway, game handles fine. It's Smash Brothers. I played. Uh, I played Marth first. He's my guy. And then um. And then I played some Robin. Because I like Fire Emblem, and he's got some ranged attacks. That's okay. cool too. Um, and now I'm kind of liking Luz- Luz- Lucina, you know, the yep. girl. Um, she plays exactly like Marth. Yeah, okay. the the idea was that she is faster, but doesn't have a sweet spot on her sword. I don't know so if she's if faster, but I know that she does not have a sweet spot on her sword. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So I'm kind of just seeing who exactly I like. I'm trying to think who else I, I've been playing. I think those are all the people I've played as so far. I went through like the single player mode a couple times, um, which is basically just like, you know, choose which path you want to go. And this time you're going to fight a giant Mario. This time you're going to fight 30 me characters. So, yeah, just the same it's always been, basically. Yeah. But like there's no cutscenes and stuff this time because of the whole nope. YouTube thing. Right. Um, nothing. Okay. Nope. Subspace Emissary um, or whatever. I still think it's silly, but if the game itself is better overall or plays better because of it, then I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. that's the only thing. So like that, if, that like um, Kirby Air Ride style mode? Smash yeah. Run? Smash Run. There we go. I played it once. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, man. Really? Well, I was just playing against some computers, right? Okay, um, that, that makes but sense. But the thing is, it's like the map is so big. You you basically never find the other players. I don't think you can. No, you can. You can. You definitely can. You're all on the same map. Um, it's just it's so big. It's you'd have to be really trying. And there's all Is these there only you know four people or there's four people, but there's random enemies in there. So most of the time you're just gonna end up fighting random enemies. Yeah. And that's they, that's and the they, closest thing to like the actual subspace levels in the game. Like you'll have, you'll fight enemies like you did in subspace. Oh yeah, sure yeah. Um. And but the, you know, and it, everyone can kill you, and when you do, your like items reset, and so you know, I died like three times. So at the, by the end of the, like, it's a five minute timer. By like the third minute, I was just like, I don't even care anymore. Let me just fight those computers, and I didn't really, I wasn't very powered up. The, you know, the computers weren't hard or anything. I beat them still because they were like level three or whatever. But <laughs> I don't know. It's just that map's too big. Maybe you got to play with some humans. I preferred just the classic, like, arcade style, go through the ladder. But hey, it's Smash Bros. There's a patch out. Get that patch, I guess. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because you need it to play online. To play better online and stuff, yeah. And especially, apparently it fixes some ad hoc issues as well, I was hearing. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I want to try out those new characters. I want to see what they're like. I like Smash Bros. I don't think the circle pad is great for inputting no. uh, commands. You're, that's the same problem I had with the demo. Yeah, I was noticing, like, because I... Hey, it's been a long time since I played Smash. Maybe I, I'm obviously worse than I used to be. I'm not in my prime, but I know Marth. I know that guy back to front. <laughs> I wasn't pulling off my combos. You know mm. what I'm saying? No. Yeah, I'm curious what the actual reviews are going to look like when the embargo's up. There's been re- there's reviews up for North America. Yeah, Giant Bomb has a review. Oh, never what? Mind. I didn't see this. <laughs> I, I guess I guess it was today. <clears throat> no, it went up at least yesterday. Weird. Okay, I saw people saying the embargo was today, or like <laughs> tomorrow. Then I well, I doubt they broke embargo. So because no. I was just <laughs> on Giant Bomb because I was watching the roller coaster video. I need to watch yeah, that. Yeah, it's that pretty good. Amazing. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I would love to do something that dumb. Yeah. Um, Anyway, um, unless you guys have any questions about Smash, that's all I've been playing. How Smash is it? It's yeah, it's one hundred percent Smash. Okay. You, why isn't there a, why isn't there an option to make stock five life my default? I don't want to change it every time. How is that not a thing yet? Hmm. Two minutes Wii U time. One. I don't care. You're right. It did always default to that, and we always changed it. It's just a ritual. <laughs> I you guess, need to like, know to go in. And even my it. friends, it was always stock five lives. That's what you play. You play stock five lives. Yes, I don't know. 
they just didn't hear that. Maybe in Japan, they love the two minutes. Captain Jack. I guess. Is that brings. maybe a competitive thing, John? Is it two minute time uh, thing? No, three stock eight minutes is it's, competitive. That's so. Uh, what is t- time two minutes? Who wants that? <laughs> I, like, yeah, I have no idea the why. The CEO of Nintendo was like, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, they just decided. Anyway. Maybe uh, it's right, easy for yeah, like Dan's demos. Dan's up for a week. Just yeah, capping at two minutes. minutes. But okay, okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was sticking out to me. There's street passing. I haven't street passed with anyone yet, but it it sounds like... You know, the Street Pass minigame, the world ends with you. It's Tin Pin Slammer. It is basically Tin Pin Slammer. Is Tin Pin Slammer the world ends with you game? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. It's, it's the world ends with you minigame. So people who don't know what that is, um, it's kind of like Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> Except you have these little pins, and you just kind of flick them into each other to knock the other pins out of the ring. But I guess you can do that with pins that now look like smash characters okay it's like you're spinning it, tops at each it's, other it's you're not weird. spinning them the, the the beyblade draw is knock the other circular thing out of the ring okay you ever play, you ever play penny hockey as a kid uh, sort of like knuckle bloody knuckles some like I on a table that's, with that's a quarter way different yeah that's you know not, that's you're finding that quarter at a person's fist and then it <laughs> sounds them. terrible what the hell? Bloody Knuckles. Yeah, no, I know what he's play. talking about. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah. doesn't even relate to what I have. Well, what is penny hockey then? It sounds like you're flicking pennies on yeah, a table. That's what you're doing. That, that, that's exactly that's what it is. That's what it is, yeah. You try and flick it through the goal. At the yeah. goal, and there's got to be a goalie with his Yeah, hands. so now it's that, but imagine like what each is character that? is a penny. Okay. I got there, I guess. I understand now. <laughs> I was hoping it was Bloody Knuckles. But no, it's not oh. Bloody Knuckles. <laughs> uh, people are asking in the chat, Sean, how is the online? I haven't played any of the online yet. And he never will. I probably will. I definitely will. I Just to I try definitely it. Will. Yeah. Just to try it out. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What's, what is great, because it's been so long since i played Smash, is the whole, like, I haven't looked up how to unlock characters. So when one, like, new challenger approaches, you're like, oh, yeah, I don't know what I did, <laughs> but I'm fighting Ness now. This is great. Sure. So that's that's pretty good. So you're having fun though, at least, right? Yeah, of course I'm having it's Smash. I'm having fun. I don't know if how long I'll stay with it. Um, I'll definitely won't stay with it as long as I did melee. That's a you know that's a different era. Mm. So, um, but yeah, that's a that's it. That's all I played. Okay. Um, I guess I will jump in because I've been playing Nintendo stuff. Sure. So I'm just gonna curtail off of that. You know that Twilight Princess? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I beat that. That was a while ago, but I just want to catch you guys up on that. Uh, (laughs) Did you like it? I did. I ended up liking a good, good, sizable chunk. I like Twilight Princess. One, basically, after all the tier collecting stuff was over, and you just got to become a wolf whenever you want to, and you can start teleporting. Yeah, like the game just opens up, and you can just go to dungeons and have fun. Mm -hmm. And there's cool bosses and stuff. So yeah, there's that game super brown. It's pretty brown. It's like there's dish soap everywhere. But when you're in the wolf world, it's like glowing and weird light bloom everywhere. And then Skull Kid is there dancing around and you have to follow him. Stuff like that. So, I don't know. It was a Zelda game. Uh, you enjoyed it though? Yeah. I got there. The first, few, like, I guess slow starts in Zelda games is just a thing I need to remember is that's part of the, that's how it happens. You need to like, get your sword and you need to go learn all the new mechanics and then you can actually go do stuff. So, so here's a question. Did you play GameCube or Wii? Wii. Okay, that's that's what I played. Yeah. See, I I'm not gonna lie. Hyrule Warriors has been kind of making me want to go back to a Zelda game, and I'm thinking GameCube version of Twilight Princess. That's the Can I make a recommendation? Played. What's the recommendation? Uh, is, it, is it gonna be Wind Waker? Wii U version of Wind Waker. <laughs> the best Zelda. It's pretty good. I don't know. It's the number one Zelda. Hyrule Warriors okay. is the number one Zelda. Actually, <laughs> I was having a conversation I, with someone. Dark Siders is actually the number one Zelda. Link's I, crossbow I training say. is the number one Zelda. That I is a fallacy, and too. I hate you. I played through <laughs> yeah, that no. whole game. It's it's more fun than I thought it would be, but it's like two hours long. So I, I never played it. Thing. I never played it. I that should get that at some point. Thing is like well thought out, mm-hmm. but no, It was like kind of a stupid purchase now in 2014 because it's like, oh, I know nothing else supported this ever. I wonder if I even have a copy of that. I, I think I have might. two behind me. Awesome. <laughs> 
I might have a copy of that. Like, I, I opened it up, set it up, played through the whole game, and then packed it up forever. Like, it's <laughs> never going to come out again. I beat the final boss. Close of the chapter on that. <laughs> yeah, it. I don't know. If I want to buy a Medal of Honor Heroes 2, I got the accessory, though, so I'm ready. Uh, I've actually been acquiring dumb Wii games and good Wii games, but I guess I put them I put them in the other room. Did Deadly you, Creatures is in the house. You got it? Oh, no. my God! I have oh. that game. No. <laughs> we're going to be his scorpion, and we're going to solve a mystery. Oh, my God, yes! <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Hopper are going to... I've never been song. happier I got, than I, I am right now. Was that, thing. that was such a great presentation like, of that. We're going to be a scorpion, and we're going to solve a mystery. <laughs> I, I, I'm so curious about that game and have been for a long time, so I want to see what's going on. I also got that Xenoblade Chronicles. Mm. I, saw your, saw your nice. picture. I went on a stupid giant walk down a bike trail in like Seattle <laughs> and ma- made it to a game. <laughs> you went all the way to Seattle for Xenoblade? That's that was a long walk from Calgary, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. There's a bike trail all the way from Calgary? There's a bike trail that goes all the way there. It's called Interurban Trail. It just Goes keeps going. Over the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> over the <Yep>. mountains. <laughs> Once you get to 228th Street, turn left, and then just <laughs> turn right at 4th, and it'll take you right to the GameStop, and just they have Z-Blade every- head, head west until you find the ocean. They actually only had one copy, but I was happy I picked it up. Seattle, in general, though, has like six more, so if you live in Seattle, check out your local GameStop. They Seattle's totally hogging in all of Canada's copies. Six, That's what they actually were I was, like, I was scrolling over the whole country, and Canada has none. <laughs> Like Vancouver, Toronto, nowhere. You would have gone anywhere in Canada before Seattle. Yeah, Toronto, I had to go south of the border. And none of it. Customs and no one cared. It was like, <laughs> yeah, sixty bucks, whatever. That's Is fine. there an EB Games in none of it? I don't know. Are there people in none of it? Yes, yeah. not many. Not many. <laughs> I don't know if there's a location up there, but anyway. So I, I bought some stuff, but uh, Metro Prime Three. That's kind of what I'm playing now. Okay. Uh, I. First time I played that game, I was just having like shaky hands. I couldn't shoot Ridley in the mouth, so I couldn't beat that part. So I just turned it off and never played it until recently. Uh, now that I've actually gotten to like the sky area, like have, have John, have you played it? I, I have not beaten any of the primes. Oh, okay. There's some really cool levels in Prime Three, and it looks pretty nice for a seven-year-old Wii game. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but yeah, Nintendo stuff. And then yesterday. I started playing Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. All right. Um, that was at good. Least not, at least it's not Phantom Hourglass. I have finished mm. Phantom Hourglass. I liked it. It's okay. But uh, it's, got, better. it's got a similar structure, though, where you have to keep going back to like that central tower and do more floors of that. Oh, really? a new dungeon to go to. And that stuff's kind of... It's better in this one because you get to team up with Zelda as a ghost and she can possess armor and like yeah. fight for you and stuff. So you kind of got this two-player thing going on. And that and European box art is time. delightful. What 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 is it like? Because um, our charm. version is like linked back-to-back with a suit of armor, right? Ready to ready to mess some fools up. Okay. And the European one is Link's just riding a train and Ghost <laughs> Zelda's flying behind him and they're having a great time. That's like the title screen. The title screen did make me smile. It was just like, I don't know what's happening, but this is kind of fun. Like, right, whereas like, the North Link's American just smiling. box art just makes you angry and want to fight. Yeah. Kids these days. aggressive. But I I don't know. It's it's a, it's a colorful Zelda Wind Waker type. Like it's that universe again. So There's a Spirit Tracks level in the 3DS Smash Bros. <laughs> I will say, until you get the cannon, like, the other trains are just the worst thing ever. I just, like, game overed because a train crashed into me. It's just like, you lost. You you shouldn't have done that. And I was like, what? Just like, I, just like real life. There was a train behind me and a train in front of me. There was nothing I could do. But, yeah, that was... Uh, that's, that's a little too real. Yeah. It was kind of intense and weird. And, like, the just chart your path and hope you get there and wait for the train to take you there. Like, there's not a lot of exploration in the open world kind of stuff, but... Yeah, that Zelda stuff. That's basically those. Um, I'll save the kind of other thing for later. Paul, what have you been playing? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll go through I'm this. You on the screen. <clears throat> it's a long list. It's a long list. I'll start Chasm, the alpha or beta build or whatever you want to call it. That mm-hmm. is really cool. Uh, Metroidvania type game that has procedurally generated caves or dungeons or whatever plays really nice basically i was feeling that like uh what shovel knight did for the mega man and contra feeling type old game this does for the old konami type feeling games Ooh, okay so it's very true to that but like modernized so it doesn't play like ass 
which is great. <laughs> and but yeah, it's a uh, fantastic and way better than Phoenix Rage, which I played. And Phoenix Rage basically is a bad meat boy. Mm. I that... heard it was a good meat boy. It's okay. It's not bad. It's just that the whole it does things that Meat Boy did perfectly so close but not at that mark that it just made me want to play Meat Boy more. Okay. Sure. Oh, so you're saying it's a game that's basically like inadequate because something better existed in the past. And it didn't reach that level or try to do something new enough to change it up. So it's Ooh. like I'd rather just play the one that did it right again. For sure. Yeah, but it has some interesting stuff. It's you have like unlimited jumping so the jumping is almost like a hover maneuver like if you just keep jumping you'll continuously just fly up or whatever it doesn't control that's as new tight. <laughs> it doesn't control as tightly either it focuses that is the one thing that is the big thing yes and it's probably because of that mechanic where you're floaty and jumpy like that that it doesn't control as tightly the main mechanic also isn't necessarily the level is trying to kill you or there's hazards around the level so much as there's, like, things in the level that move in patterns that you have to go through. Like, the first level is based very much on slimes that just, like, move in a single pattern, but there's a lot of it, so you get kind of overwhelmed and you're just like, okay, I just don't want to play this at all. Because there's so much shit on the screen, I just don't, like, it's overwhelming. It's just it, not very It good. did seem like a very busy game. It is very busy, and the art style is, uh, like, an Xbox indie-type feel to it, which isn't great. I don't know what that is. It's... That, it, I think it actually was done in X and A, so that would make sense. Yeah, if, if it was... When I think of Xbox indie games, I think of sweet massage controller games for your xbox 360 of course you would <laughs> or i made a game with Sean, Sean's in a, it. that too yeah it's the Sean's big game. yeah yeah time viking and space raptor also made by the creator of i made a game with zombies in it mm -hmm. you can like choose Minecraft the vibration clones. that your controller does you can get yeah. it just right yay just just how you like it i love how it just sounds like you've actually used one of these and know all the settings as a result <laughs> There's a bunch. Turn have, on every day. I have checked one out before. But <laughs> really? It was, well, it was a de it was one of the demo versions. So like, it's like, hey, if you want to use, I was gonna say, good, you didn't pay for. It. No, like if it was one of those things that's like, I'm gonna crank this up to see how high. Like, I want to blow the motor in this controller from vibration. It's like, if you want to go higher, you got to pay the ninety nine cents. I'm like, nope, and then delete it. It was just like the low rumble. It's like, okay, so this is just mildly annoying. If I put it on my thing here, the cat will look at it and run away. Okay, it uh, is kind of mildly annoying if you put it on your thing. Just saying. <sighs> oh, I should have said coffee is. table. <laughs> Should have said coffee. Table. That's, and like, what else did you setting it on? Plus, like real life, you gotta pay if you wanted to get a you know a little better. It's gonna cost a bit. The more. next game I played was oh. called Neverending Nightmares. <laughs> that, well done. Mm. Neverending Nightmares. Yeah, the, this game sounds. Familiar. Oh yeah, that was that Kickstarter game that the dude what made that music game made. <laughs> yeah, creepy got... art. That's exactly That's it. That's out. Okay, that is out. Retrograde uh, was his game. Yeah, that's the did one. Did very bad, so he he uh he got depressed and made this game. From what I understand, that's yep. the one. Yep. How is the game? You know, it's a, it actually does what it's supposing to like trying to do quite well, okay. but not in the way okay. I thought. So it gives a creepy feeling to me, like a claustrophobic feeling, just because this house that you're going around in is huge and it never seems to end. There's doors everywhere. There's, like, the creepy hallways and stuff, and it gets to the point where it's, like, I just want to, like, get out of this house. Like, it's starting to make me feel claustrophobic, which I don't know if that was the intention or just a byproduct of the art and, like, everything looking very samey and it doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere. But okay. it was kind of cool. Um, For, like, the 15 bucks or whatever it's selling for, I can't recommend it, though. It's... It's one of these games that I will end up playing till the end to see the end. But for now, it's just kind of all these weird little gimmicky things. Like, basically, he's having nightmares, and they're not stopping. Like, he wakes up from a nightmare. It's like, 
oh good it was just a dream then something fucked up happens oh good it was just a dream he wakes up again then something else fucked up happens and it just keeps going like that it's and like inception layers to the dream inception kind of. dreams mm -hmm. okay it, yeah so it's kind of like that it's the reason i bought it was because i like the art style of like the cross hatching and just the pen lines, the sort of thing that you would see, like, the weird goth kid in your class draw on his, like, notebook or something. Yeah. That's pretty great. Okay. And mm. I have a soft spot for the, like, black and white with selective color. Okay. Yeah. You should play Mad World. I have. Good. That was an alright game. Yeah, it was very mediocre. Yeah, it ended at <laughs> just the right point, because it was about to overstay its welcome. Mm-hmm. Arguably, it overstayed its welcome way earlier, but yes, <laughs> I didn't That's mind. Fine. I didn't mind Greg Proops and John DiMaggio. So okay, fair enough. I, I wasn't right. Okay, no. I also played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Is this okay? I so I installed this. Is it scary? Is it, is it no. a horror game? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's atmospheric, but I wouldn't say it's horror like a horror game. It's okay. so the reason I got this is because. When I saw it, I was like, sweet, this is exactly what I wanted from Murdered Soul Suspect, which it isn't at all. Apparently, I fucked Dude, up I'm and the, you, yeah, what I wanted... You, like, isn't, isn't this more like Mist from what it I keep is, hearing? It is more like Mist. What I wanted, apparently, was Sherlock Holmes' Crime and Punishment. <laughs> what? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like, what? I think it's Crimes and Punishment. Crimes and Punishment, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's more what I wanted from Murdered Soul Suspect originally. And I thought this game was that, but this is more like uh, an atmospheric mystery, uh, like in a mist type gameplay, which is still mm -hmm. fine. But the first thing the game says, it's like, yo, we don't hold your hand in this. So look around and stuff. And it's like, OK, like wor worded exactly like that was a yo. And it it everything. was pretty much worded exactly like that. It was actually more worded like this is an atmospheric experience or whatever with very little hand holding, enjoy, blah, blah, blah. It's very pretentious beginning, but they're okay. right to the point where I watched a video of the beginning that someone else did. And I missed five different like clues or like background story parts completely. Like I walked like right the past screen. them. Okay. In the first five minutes of the area, I walked right past them. Even though Yikes. I thought I was being thorough, I walked around the whole area. It took me about probably half an hour to get through the first area when it should have taken me maybe 45 minutes to 50 minutes because there was a bunch of other shit in there. So uh. I don't know how much I like that. <laughs> but I, like, I don't like handholdy experiences, but I like some direction a little bit. This is kind of just like they plop you in a forest and tell you to go. So, if you like that mm. sort of thing, you might like this if you want to spend hours just in a world or whatever. I don't have hours to spend just looking at every grass blade and seeing where I can pick stuff up, I guess. Maybe that's so just kind of pixel hunty. It's or... not pixel hunty. No, it's just that there is a lot of grass and trees and foresty areas. And then later on, like houses and shacks and stuff like that, that you can look around very mm -hmm. puzzly to some weird, um, like paranormal stuff going on in there too, without spoiling. What, what's the, things. what's the big mystery? What are you trying to solve? You're trying to find Ethan Carter or like what happened to him. Okay. So he's so, dead. Oh, so, so who are you? You are what the hell is his name? It's Paul something. I can't remember really? his last name. It's you. It's me. But um You have to name your own character, so <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah. Um that game's okay. It's twenty bucks. I hear it's not very long. So I still oh, haven't finished it. Mist itself isn't that long. It's just see if you can figure it out. What's that? Mist itself isn't very long. No. It just takes you a while to figure it out. Yeah. So Speedrun of Vanishing of Ethan Carter coming out soon, I suppose. Uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate I finally started on. What? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just going to dabble with this place for 10 minutes. I don't know. Like, Yeah, uh, yeah. that's that's kind of why I'm surprised, because it doesn't seem like something you would just pick up out of the blue and play for 10 minutes and put down. Oh, so, I, did you? I haven't like put it down, necessarily. I had work this week. Like, What do you want from me? <laughs> No, 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 it's just like a big But I mean, like, game. just like a small oh, like, game session. What do you mean? Like, That's... how long did you play it? Oh, a few hours when I bought it. 
And then okay. I will probably play a little bit more maybe tomorrow. There's just so much shit out right now. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing. Because like, you've played like eight games. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Just searching for the one to grab your attention, pull you in. Sean, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right. They've all grabbed my attention. Yeah. But holy shit, there's so many of them. Um, so Monster Hunter 3 I played because, for one thing, I was being... I was told to multiple times to try it out because of my love of Dark Souls, so I decided, okay, I gotta make a judgment call on if this actually plays like a Souls game or if it's doing its own thing sort of thing, so I played it for more than the 10 minutes I had originally on the 3DS, like I have it on the Wii U now, and yeah. that game is fantastic in a completely different way. It's just, And Dark Souls? Yeah, Dark Souls is a very not linear necessarily, but directed, like, driven experience where you kind of make progression as you're going through these different areas to a final goal, whereas Monster Hunter is very much, you are living in a world with monsters, go kill them sort of thing. Did you so group hunting. up with people? I didn't group up with people. I grouped up with one person the night I got it for, like, one hunt. And I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. Like, seeing the... He was way higher level than me, obviously, because I just started. And, like, see, he went to go hunt one of his things or whatever. And it was cool to see that the monsters get way bigger and, like, harder than the little shits you fight for the first, like, hour or two. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, I'm enjoying that. That's something that I think will be an ongoing experience of, like... Anytime there's a lull in gaming or something, I'll probably pick away at that for a few hours and level that up. It's It plays very much like an MMO where you're just kind of doing missions and then coming back and getting a reward, which I'm into, obviously, because I play a lot of MMOs. But, yeah, I don't know. There's something about it. I can't really put my finger on just now. Maybe it's just the the like carrot on the stick sort of thing of seeing these bigger badder enemies and getting stronger to take them on and grouping up with friends and stuff i think it's pretty cool so um, is it kind of like you'll encounter a creature and the first time you meet it you have to run away but then later you can store up stuff and like i'm gonna go kill that thing and then i can have this cool item and then i'll beef up get a cool shield or something like is it that carrot on the stick kind of loop uh, not so much. Like, they start you off with very small gathering missions, killing a few basic things, but then there's one mission where it's like, oh my god, that's this guy. I think it's, like, Legiacris or whatever. You can't fight him now. Run away. Legiacris. And you're just like, okay. So I just swam away. <laughs> and Oh, like, it's not just an open place where you're exploring and you'll stumble into crazy monsters like, it, at random? Honestly, or? that's probably the biggest problem with it. It doesn't feel that way at all. Oh, okay. It feels very much like when you go on a mission, it will, like, alter the world spawns to, f like, do, to better accommodate that mission. So it's mm -hmm. basically re-zoned areas. It feels that way, but I'm not sure. Like, I haven't played enough of it yet to really know for sure, but it seems like there were some zones every time I went through, it was just completely different spawns, which I don't like. Like, I like being... You don't like? You don't like the fact you don't like the variety, or you want to be able to I expect, like, like, I need this specific thing for grind. I like this idea that if I go to, like, say, Area 7 or 6 or something, there is these giant fucking things I can't kill. Like, always. And I will visit them later. They're like, they can roam around or something, but I don't necessarily like that, like, it might change just depending on what mission. It, I have no idea, though. Like, I have to play more before I'm able to comment on that. I hope... It is kind of like they roam around. Like, they're monsters. It's the world. They're going to roam around. So I hope it's like that and not just, you need to kill these guys. They're in this area, so we're going to put them in this area for this mission or whatever. Like, if it feels mechanical, then, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm, I'll go to Hyrule Warriors last because John and I will, pro like, we'll all talk about it, I'm sure. I played yeah. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor last night this i've is, been hearing a hotness. lot of good buzz I, this is the current hotness i am so surprised that this game is fantastic because i was kind of expecting it to be dog shit like the one thing i heard about this game at all was like it's kind of like assassin's creed so i was like oh fucking wonderful because <laughs> i don't like <laughs> assassin's creed games this game got that right for me because what it, happens if you do like assassin's creed games 
then you'll probably this... like it. <laughs> Great, good. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is that they basically plop you down into Mordor, and they just say go. Like they give you the basic. Wait, mechanic. wasn't that your problem with vanishing of Ethan Carter? No, like they, they just drop you in the forest and they say go, and it's like there's a the little hell, more gameplay. No, like to what I was getting at is that they give you the things you need, like mechanically to move around. The one thing is you're going after like the Black Hand of Sauron, which is basically a council of these badass Urukai or whatever, right? So, okay, okay. to get sure. to them, you're gonna kind of kill other high-ranking captains. You're, you're gonna assassin. You're Nate? gonna assassinate them. Yes. <laughs> Okay. So, do you um, have a creed? Oh my god! You have a brand? No. Assassin's brand. Assassin's <laughs> brand. Quite the same. Not quite the same. A little close. Yeah, that game just like a hierarchy of like different ranking officials, right? Yes. And kind of kill your way up. It this is kind the of nemesis looks... system. Are we talking about that now? Yes. Big thing. We yeah. So that's what's fantastic about this is because as you get worse at the game, the enemies get stronger. Or vice versa. You get, wait, you get you worse. Get, at you get the game? well. You get weaker, right? Like if you die, okay. the guy that kills you, if they're just a nobody orc, they will be uh, promoted to captain and like gain basically a power level, which is just like a level makes them hard. The higher the l power level, the harder they are to fight. Like they'll take more hits, they'll take more strategy to take down, or like they'll just have more health, sort of thing, and they can level up by just consistently killing you and by fighting in their ranks and killing higher ranking captains as well. And that's the big thing is there's this like, th there's, there's systems in place that remember what happened previously. So yeah. they'll like remember you like, oh man, here comes the dude that killed this guy. Yeah. You gotta run. Or, oh hey dude, I killed you last time. You went back for round two. And there, there's context-sensitive dialogue that relates to that, too. Yeah. So, for example, this one guy killed me when I, like, was first starting because I didn't know how badly you'd screw yourself in that game, which I'll get to in a second. And then when he attacked me the second time, he's like, wait a minute, I thought you were dead sort of thing. And then, like, he'll try to kill you again. Uh, and, like, there was another guy that I ran away from because there was a horde of, like, ten guys. I was like, there's no way I can take this horde on. So when I fought that guy later on, he was saying something about, like, calling me a coward and asking if I'm going to run away again and, like, basically berating me for running the first time. Oh, wow. It's just sure. stuff like that is very cool, and it makes this game feel like it's a living experience, like, in this little world. And from what I hear so it's called the nemesis system that's not going to be in the ps3 and xbox 360 version. are you serious i didn't know that what so get it on current gen systems my wow. question is because you're playing on pc right yes i've heard nothing about that and like no preview <laughs> copies for that went out so how is the yeah, PC no, version? wait no preview copies for that one out for yeah, the, uh, for the for PC, pc version yeah how uh, is when i was on co-optional this week they had a discussion too like how is that possible there was day one content on that yeah game. no they weren't giving out reviews and they were like bizarrely embargoed but like ps4 and xbox one were just fine so mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm just curious is, is the pc one like is it okay does it, is it work? yeah it's absolutely okay. fantastic and there there is a weird thing that there's a patch or like uh downloadable content thing that's free for the pc that is like the hd pack and basically, that is, like, more stuff that adds into the game for better, like, resolution and stuff if you wanted to play full HD at, like, 60 frames and the highest settings possible. You can't get ultra settings, weirdly enough, without this pack. You can only go high, like, in the mm -hmm. options menu. This kind of is, like, I guess the last little booster you need if you have a high-end system to push it all the way that it can go. Which I think is kind of a cool idea, because for the people that don't have that, like me, I don't have the highest end system. I couldn't do Ultra on this game anyway, so I'm not going to have to worry about downloading this thing. But I like I want to know more about how, how did they not have... The thing I'm wondering is that there's a lot of people talking about this on the internet, and I saw there's a lot of videos out already. Like, they didn't give any PC versions out at all? It Supposedly. Was... It was all uh, PS4. Or like there was like there was a weird specific uh, demand with the documents for it, from what I heard. 
Like they were being surprisingly like you couldn't say anything bad about it, couldn't show any glitches. They were being surprisingly strict with the PC version, but they didn't have that same strictness on PS4 and Xbox One. I had just heard like no PC versions were going out. The chat is saying Total Biscuit got one. Well, yeah, but, but I would, he's I would like assume a more couple people million people watching him all the time. Of course, he got. I one. would. What I'm saying is what I would assume is I'm assuming the chat would mention other people if multiple sites were getting PC versions. But what I had heard is just. Yeah, PC versions weren't going out for preview. That's that's really weird. It's, and you were saying they the there was stuff on it where it was like you can't say anything bad about the game or show glitches. Yeah, basically, uh, it was I mean, they were surprisingly this. strict about it. That's weird because I saw one glitch the whole time I've been playing so far. Like there, he said the same thing. He played for twelve hours and saw one glitch. Okay, I've only played for probably three. But I've seen one. The one glitch I saw was hilarious, and like one of the orcs, head like his head, kind of melded with his neck, so he was kind of all weird and janky looking. That was kind of hilarious. But other than that, everyone else has looked like the game looks really, really good. And even on my roughly two year old PC right now, it plays beautifully. Like at least at fifty plus frames per second, no problem. So it's very optimized. It's a the combat also is fantastic. Like it actually feels better than Rocksteady's, like Arkham. Arkham fighting yeah. I was gonna say it's, really, it's, it's the Batman combat, right? Yeah, it feels better somehow. I don't know how. It just feels way what? more fluid. Maybe it's because instead of using fists and kicks and stuff, you're using a sword, so it looks more fluid. But it just better feels. Range so this just sounds like Assassin's Creed combat to me now. <laughs> It yeah, which is which is Batman. What combat. studio is making this, anyways? I know Warner Brothers publishing Monolith. Yeah, oh and Monolith. Yeah. Oh, like the condemned people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what? That's a good game. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. I believe TV was calling it a brand deal. Oh, gross! Why would WB yeah. do that for a game that's actually good? It was really. I don't weird. know how accurate all this is. So. That was that, like on Co-Optional. That's what he said too. He's like, I don't get why they have no confidence in their game. It's a really good game. It's fantastic. Like you wouldn't. I don't know why you would have to do a brand deal <laughs> for a review. C- companies are weird, man. It's just it's the way Did all that EA goes. Lose the Lord of the Rings license or something like when? It's just they didn't have that for years. Like that was the PS2 era. They had it last. Yeah, I know, but there was a whole pile of. Well, like Conquest and stuff. That was only like who, six years ago. Who ran Lord of the Rings Online? What company was that? Oh, that geez. was EA. Was that EA? Was it? I think so. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I got. I, I remember right. I was given a free copy of it at a PAX, but I never. <laughs> I was it. too, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's in a box somewhere. But... What was the? It was there. One, there was one that came out like three years ago. Like the battle. Oh, there's so games. many that have come out. Oh uh, no, it had a different name. What was I'm gonna look it up. I'm just remember Tur- some Turbine walked, and Midway was Lord of the Rings Online. Someone coming out of an E B games because they had pre ordered it, so they had like the sword that comes with it. Like they were walking out with a Lord of the Rings sword. Oh, this sounds familiar. If, yeah, Isn't if you could find that name that would be good, but Okay. Um, Sorry to be so behind. I thought EA had a hand in all Lord of the Rings stuff, but I guess not anymore. No, they've been off for quite a while. Okay. Who are you playing as in this? Are you just some ranger guy or an original character? Yes. You are playing a ranger. I can't remember his name right now. Found it. Okay, what what was it? The Lord of the Rings War in the North. Oh, Oh, yeah. I have a fridge magnet for that (laughs) from a box. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Oh, sweet. You can tell us all about the game. <laughs> it held up a bill for a long time, so... <laughs> it, it stays on the thing that keeps my food cold. I surprisingly played a lot of the Two Towers game. I heard that yeah, was actually too. good. I got it on GameCube. All right. I don't even... Okay. And that's what I keep hearing now is everyone is saying that one was actually really good, and I just randomly got it at a Blockbuster once. <laughs> so I guess I lucked out. Yeah. Return of the King had like co-op. People were into that, but that's pretty cool. Not. Anyways, I think Shadow of Mordor is easily worth the sixty dollars or whatever it's selling for right now, which is more than I can okay. say about a lot of games. Cool. Yeah. Last game. Yeah. So, Hyrule Warriors came out. Mm-hmm. Best Legend of Zelda game and Dynasty Warriors game. More. I, I don't know if I'd say more... Legend of Zelda, but definitely best Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. 
Wait, John, is it better than 99 Nights? Yes. Really? You played Whoa. through that game like seven times in a row. <laughs> Jesus. I every know. fucking Are you going to play through High Rise seven Jesus. times in a row? I know. It's so fucking annoying he keeps bringing this up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's your favorite game. No, it's, it's not. It's been like four months. It's still just like, yep. All right. <laughs> Nothing has... <laughs> He's brought it up like four times since Paul's That's been here. That's not true at all. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, three. I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> all right, yeah. So Hyrule Warriors, best Dynasty Warriors game. And Samurai Warriors, you're going to say that too? It's better than Samurai Warriors games? Sure. <laughs> I don't okay. know. It's fast, it's fast paced like the Samurai Warrior games I'm, and the Orochi games. So. I'm really into the Warriors. World. Hmm? What about the Warriors? It's a completely different company. <laughs> How does Warriors it is the, the best Warriors? Grand Theft Auto now game. Now I want to know. It's is not the best like movie tie-in. Movie? I'll give you that. That one goes no. to the Warriors. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true, but okay. Uh, yeah. Probably Compared to right. Hyrule Warriors, yes. How much of this did you play, John? I'm still playing, kind of going through it. Uh, done story mode, and I am... How uh, short is story mode? 18 chapters? 17? Would it? Okay. How long is that? How long does it take you to do 18 chapters? Each mission's roughly like 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. I'd say about okay. that. You played a lot then. Yeah, fair amount. Seven hours, okay. Uh, And I've done what would probably amount to a third to a to a quarter of the adventure map. What is the adventure map? Oh man, the adventure! I gotta start that. I only did one tile of that. Do story mode first because that unlocks more content inside adventure mode. Yeah, fair enough. What's adventure mode? So Adventure Mode is a grid-based game where you move around on a grid to like doing all these different missions. Like, oh, but so the, it's not like Fire Emblem. No, but the grid is the entire map of Zelda 1. Yeah. So each screen of okay. Zelda 1 is a different challenge, and there's all these hidden secrets you can unlock by like blowing up walls on these screens like you would in the original Zelda. So is it like Soul Calibur 2? Link is in that. So. I'm trying. There's a specific mode that he's referring to, and I'm trying to think if it matches up. There's not- like a pathway, and there's branching paths. Kind of, but not quite. Okay. Okay. Guess I'll I, just I, go back to Soul Calibur 2 then. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, the content in it. Holy crap! Like I'm so. Done st- here's my. Here's my. I haven't started playing it. I should say. That game looks hella boring. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay. Why? Well, Sean, once again, do you like Dynasty Warriors? I have not played. My experience with Dynasty Warriors is I played through 99 Nights once. Okay, then. And I hated d- it. D- you hated that? You don't get this. Then I... you're not going to like Hyrule Warriors. Okay. I Great. can say that with confidence right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. It, it's faster paced than 99 Nights, so maybe some of those grievances. So why are you guys so into it? If it just. Like, it just because looks like. Because we like Dynasty Warriors. Honestly, it because hit- it's not even necessarily that I like Dynasty Warriors, is that. I can really withstand a Dynasty Warriors every couple, maybe probably like five or so years, like plus. Yeah, it, also, it really does feel like it hit at the right point. Yeah, because I haven't played a Dynasty Warriors game since like the PS3 had just come out or something, <laughs> like a while ago. So okay, so like seven years ago, probably six years ago, roughly. So I was ready for another one of these, and hey, Legend of Zelda boss fights in it are cool too. I mean, I do care more about Hyrule than medieval China, so yeah. this is that, a good too. selling that point too. for me. It's like, oh, a, a location I care about and have history with. Awesome. As opposed to just like, See, yeah, it's like a castle. Well, let me yeah, ask you this. I, I don't play the, the main Dynasty Warrior games. I usually play the spinoffs like Gundam and Fist of the North Star. Mm. Okay. What were you going to ask, Sean? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you said you, prefer, you like Hyrule more than... Um, Medieval China. Medieval China. What what about Hyrule versus modern day China? I, I haven't been, but none of the Dynasty Warriors <laughs> Mod- games modern are modern day Dynasty China. China. Warriors in China. Dynasty I'm just Warriors, talking about China. Shanghai edition. Re- realistic fog of war. <laughs> Smog. Smog like, oh, you have to battle Foxconn employees and like, bring down the video game industry. <laughs> like, I don't know. This is terrible. This is going really bad. What? They make every console. That's every. True piece of technology it's crazy but yeah uh, <laughs> yeah but i mean I this is really one of the games that's like hey do you like dynasty warrior games no okay you won't like this what yeah. if i like zelda games you still won't What's like that? this because it doesn't play like it, a zelda it's game way different oh man 
What was if I just want a cool HD Wii U game that plays on the gamepad? Yep. And I can put in my headphones and just have fun. Yes. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay. Yes. We, then you can just play Wind Waker gamepad. Yeah, I've, I've been playing Waker. most of Hyrule Warriors in bed, like just okay. chilling that, with that's... great music. You awesome. have thought ahead. I have never thought to do that. <laughs> I just sit in my full office and play stuff? it. <laughs> Should play Wonderful One Hundred One. I I started it and stopped, but I don't know. I like you said the gameplay was bad, and you were right. Yeah, and I didn't. You get put to that the game cool on easy, scenes. and you watched the cool cutscenes. I hope I said it on That's easy. That's what YouTube.com is for. Or just watch that, that game's that. really funny. Okay, mm. it's the best Power Rangers game. <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, John, do you guys recommend Hyrule Warriors? Yes. You guys like it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Loving okay. it. Cool. Is that but all you've been again, But once again, that's like the barrier is if you don't like Dynasty Warrior games, you will not like this. And if you've never played a Dynasty Warrior games, it's like, do you like beat 'em ups or hack and slashes? Mm. Yeah. Like it, those it's are bit... different. Those are so different. No, they're not. And I'm not it's saying like... like Devil May Cry hack and slashes. That this is different. Yeah. Because it's it's more that. of a mindless hack and slash in a way. But I mean, it's surprisingly cathartic to play a Dynasty Warriors game. <laughs> it really, really is. But the problem is they're so similar is that you can't play one like every year sort of thing yeah like, they're boring like i i don't Extreme think i'll ever get vengeance. into the core series but it's nice to play like a spin-off like this also if you like that the like legend of zelda feel of when you go into a dungeon you get an item and then you use that item on the last boss this has some of that in there too oh that's yeah. kind of cool not yeah. too much but enough that it like it feels do you get the like boomerang it. yes yes you do and that boss the... it makes that boss way easier you, well, you, you need it to fight the boss. Yeah. Hmm? Do you yeah, get the yes, you, you get the hook shot too. Do you get do you get the cape that lets you fly over a couple squares? No. No. That's my favorite <laughs> Zelda item. How about the rod that makes an ice cube? The cane of Berna? No. Okay. You get the fire rod though. How about how about the Pegasus boots? You can just run already. How do but you not, feel about playing as Pegasus more than fast. just Link? By the way, what I There's think that's also characters? the main appeal of it is you you're not just Link. Who else are you? Ganondorf, okay. Impa, Link on a horse, Midna. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Midna's in it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Like in Zelda? weird goblin form or like lady form? Weird right at goblin the end of the form. game. Isn't okay. it goblin riding the wolf? Yeah, she's riding a wolf, but it's not Link. Oh, what? She, she can just ride any wolf. That's weird. She made. She actually attacks with wolves. Okay, <laughs> that's not her like, like power. I that's guess, not her thing. I guess if you enjoy Dynasty Warriors type game style or know of it at least and aren't completely turned off by that and like Zelda fan service, then this is a game for you. Can yeah, you this is very. Zora? This is very fan. Yes, you can. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. You get very... like an electric fish guitar. No, you're not that Zora. <laughs> oh, which Zora are you? Fish guitar. Yes. Your Princess Ruto. Oh, that's my Fox least favorite Fox. Zora. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right? I hated playing as her for the longest time. Then when I got her final combo, I'm like, oh, she's not completely terrible now. Can you play as one of those bird people from Wind Waker? No. Oh. Gorons? Yeah. It has to be, right? The, all the, the series they pull from is like General Legend of Zelda. So that means like Link, Zelda, Impa, uh, Skyward Sword. Okay. Twilight What's Princess. Skyward Sword? Uh, Fee. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And uh, gear him. What is? Who is that? Is that the redheaded dude? That's the silver-haired dude, the villain. Oh, oh that's right. Weird. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yep. And you're thinking Groose. That's the redheaded dude. You fight a lot yeah. of villains. <laughs> oh, Groose! Wait, the bully guy? Yeah. <laughs> That'd Groose, be is awesome. not, Groose is not in there. That would be great. Hopefully, he's one of the DLC characters. Only if he did like that falling attack where Link looks up and he's like, "What?" <laughs> That'd be great. He just belly flops. So Zelda fan service plus hack and slashing. That sounds yeah. okay, actually. Yeah, bad. it's really good, and the music's try fantastic. Out a, try out the demo, at least. I, I don't know if the demo's for free, but like any EB Games has it on demo right now. Okay. okay. I would hope a demo is free. It's a demo. Well, I don't know if the demo's online, is what I should say, rather. Oh. I haven't looked. Or just try out any Dynasty Warriors. Apparently. Well, but this one sounds more enticing somehow. This this but. one sounds a lot fast. This one is a lot faster paced too from the previous ones I've played. Okay. Cool. 
so that was kind of a transition game. Did you play anything else, John, or just nope. all the just Hyrule? Hyrule Wars? Okay. Um, man, there's no easy way to kind of just bolt this on now. But you guys read books? No, no. Yep. You might you might be interested in this one though. Ooh, I'm telling you, it's it's pretty good. Is it pretty is this good? the one they make a movie out of? This is the one they're making two movies out of, essentially. There's a documentary in the works right now, and then there's a fiction film planned with Seth Rogen and Seth Rogen. Evan Goldberg are working on adapting that, which I don't know how that's going to pan out. That's It's kind of a weird subject what, matter for what, that. What book is this for the people listening? Oh, yeah, right. This is Console Wars by Blake J. Harris, which came out last month, uh, and I was like reminded, oh, yeah, that came out, and went and bought it and read through it. Uh, it's probably my favorite video game history book I've read. I've read like four or five of those now, like Extra Lives. There was uh, the Minecraft biography thing, uh, How Nintendo Conquered America. This covers some similar ground as the Nintendo book, but it focuses on a very specific five years, and it's from Sega's perspective, specifically Tom Kalinske, like the president of Sega of America, like the CEO. So... It's kind of a cool underdog story of like trying to prove that anyone else can compete in the video game space after Nintendo kind of took over. So there's just tons of great like anecdotes in there and like historical stuff that I was just stoked about. Like there's just whole stuff about the Mario movie and like that, how it weaves into the larger thing about what was going on. But yeah, it's basically like 89 to like 94 is what's covered in like hyper detailed narrative stuff from kind of. They basically make characters out of these real executives and specifically focused on Tom Kalinske, who I didn't know anything about. Like, does that name ring a bell for people? Nope. Okay. Yeah. I, and also, I guess, just like weird beefing between Sega of America and Sega of Japan. Like, they were like really marketing really heavily in America and making a lot of headway, whereas Japan was kind of just not doing super great. And there was kind of... I don't know, bad will between the companies and whatever. Like, I'm just like, hey, why don't you market this totally different and way better like we're doing? And it's just like, shut up, we make the games. <laughs> ah, like, just weird stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of filled in a lot of blanks in my personal history of just like, I played Nintendo a lot in the 90s. I didn't know what Sega was really doing because it was marketing for like five years older than me at the time. Sonic, uh, he's got attitude. He does, and I did play that at a friend's house, and was just like, "Eh, I I like Mario. Like, I'm just gonna go back and he's play slow that. and old. I know, and the, all those commercials <laughs> that really emphasize that. I love that this has like the behind the scenes stories of those, and just like weird bullshit, like blast processing versus mode seven. They'll just like delve into where those terms come from and like how Sega used it to their advantage." and just kind of made up nonsense to kind of... Like, blast processing is almost useless, but they managed to convince everybody that that's what makes Sonic go so fast, when <laughs> it's actually just burst mode, which doesn't have anything to do with its processing. Like, it's just, I don't know, a lot of great insight and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I was really entranced by this book. So you uh, recommend it? I do recommend it. I'm um, excited for the movie. While I was in the middle of reading it, I was, like, starting to realize this, is, uh, this isn't this is going to cover, like, the Saturn and the Dreamcast. Like, they're just not casting their net that wide. And I was kind of disappointed at the time because I was just like, I just want more of this kind of in-depth history. But they managed to kind of make it a story about the first time someone went head-to-head -head with Nintendo and kind of changed the game. And then Sony starts to kind of enter the scene and like start poaching people from Sega and stuff. And it's just, it's like Sega changed the game industry is kind of the thrust of this whole thing. And it's just like, I didn't really pay much attention to Sega, but now I'm kind of curious about looking back. So I actually bought a Genesis today and hooked it up and was playing some Sonic 2. And oh man, Sonic 2, the history behind that, like Sonic Tuesday, I guess was the first international launch event for a game. Like, it launched here and in Japan and in Europe at the okay. same time. Almost, except Sega of Japan kind of blinked at the last second and put it out on Saturday and pissed off everybody. It's just <laughs> like, dude, it's Sonic Tuesday. We agreed on this. It's just like, Would yeah. Did it even but... work with the time zones, though? Or was uh, it just Tuesday? Like it, No, did... it was just they put it out on the weekend because they were just like, yeah, we're Sega of Japan. You don't tell us what to do. We made it. And it's just like you wouldn't you fired Yuji Naka essentially he left and we had to bring him back and give him Sonic Team 
and get him to make this, you're welcome. And they're just like, no, dude, Saturday. Japan, don't play by your rules. Nakayama-san. Like, yeah, all these names of just people I had no idea were big players. And people I did know, like Howard Phillips and Howard Lincoln and George Harrison and all these guys, like the Nintendo side of it, they kind of just flesh out and make, like, just, I don't know, introduce a ton of info. So, yeah, it's 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 a book that I'm assuming is going to get even higher profile once the documentary and the movie and stuff come out. But right now it's just it's available. I'm assuming there's an e-reading e version. You don't have to spend 30 bucks or whatever on a big piece of literature. And you Doesn't said this came out well. within the past month or so? I think it came out in August, like late August. So The about book a came month. out in late August? I think so. No, it must have been way before that. I remember when the movie was getting talked about, my friend was already reading it. I remember, them, reading the I remember the book. Yeah. The, uh, I hope you're wrong because I thought I was up on this. No, I think you're wrong. Oh, I'm like so far behind the trends. Are you looking at it? Up? Wars. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Maybe it book. went from trade paperback and the hardcover just came out. Oh, like maybe this is a special edition hardcover that eventually yeah. happened. Uh, May 5th. So, yeah, this was like four or five months ago. <laughs> Damn. There you go. It's, Still good though. I didn't know about a lot of this stuff. Sonic Tuesday. John, do you remember Sonic Tuesday? Uh, n- I never heard of it back home. Okay. That's too bad. I've oh, heard about also, it since, but back then, no. And I don't know. They just delve into like the Aladdin difference between Genesis and SNES mm-hmm. and just like the animation that was possible on the, the Genesis versions. It's like I didn't know that this was a thing like yeah. to this extent, but yeah. that's cool. They're very uh, extremely different games. Yeah. And then all the weird bolt-on stuff that... Oh, I guess and Sega of America kind of had the foresight of just like, guys, the Saturn is garbage. We need to hire someone else and do this again. We got Silicon Graphics on the phone. We can make a dope-ass console. Just give us the chance. And they're just like, no, you're, we're not going to do that. Nintendo then contacts Silicon Graphics and got them to do their system. Like It's just like dumb stuff like this, like the weird poaching of other talent and companies the people who made lemmings worked on the first sony console and made dev tools like psygnosis just i don't know it was cool stuff like that uh i like it it's a good book yeah i remember wanting being curious when the movies were being talked about so it's been on my to read list i guess the yeah the documentary is in the works right now but uh that fiction film I, i don't know how that's like if they do this kind of like a social network type thing like a business movie it could be cool, but I'm not sure how what the angle is going to be if they make it a comedy. Seth Rogen and all of his serious business movies. I know, like it's just good. I guess you could make it a weird comedy, like the wacky antics of Sega at CES pulling pranks and. I'm pretty sure folks. Sony is doing the movie. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sony is publishing it. Yep. So there you go. They were Olaf Olafsson. That guy factors into the story pretty big. He's it's a, a great name. Guy. Yeah. Um, anyway, hey, news. Speaking of old news, I guess, six-month-old books. Like, pff, what are you doing? I, it's still good. There's very little news. Um, I got two stories. First one, R8 is a new studio. Okay. It was made up of old Studio Liverpool devs. They made oh, Wipeout. Wipeout team. They announced Formula Fusion, a game that looks exactly like Wipeout. Yeah, yay. So it's techno racing. Guess what? Wipeout's coming. No, it literally is. There's hover cars, there's techno music, and it's in the future, and it's like a cart battling game. <laughs> All right. It is there's a trailer you can watch it. It actually the trailer has a different name on it cuz I guess they changed names after like putting the motion graphics together. Dude, even this font is Wipeout. Yeah, no, it's basically like we still want to make Wipeout games. We'll just go do it on our own if Sony doesn't want them anymore. So, is it like a Kickstarter thing, or is it just a fully published game deal? Uh, it says being up? aimed for PS4, Xbox One, and PC next year. I think All right. This is just like their announcement thing, so who knows what's going to happen with it. But I'm just saying, hey, wipe out. Get your hype on. I like hype. techno. That Vita one was okay. It was actually yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. So, um, all right. Last news is I just have the lists of the next uh, PlayStation Plus games and Xbox Live games with gold. Games with Gold got better, finally. Ooh. We're getting some game called Chariot. Here's the thing, though. It's a new game. Finally. Not just, like, three years ago. Battlefield Bad Company 2. What? <laughs> and Darksiders 2. 
Okay. Okay. Whatever. Dark, Dark Souls Two is okay. No, guys. the game's fine. I'm just <laughs> hey, they finally got a game that on release we're getting it for free. Sony's been doing that, so I'm just glad to see Xbox is doing that too. Okay. So those are the three games you're getting from Xbox. Let's look at the six games you're getting from PlayStation. <laughs> this is in October again, by the way. See, getting, the console wars continue. You're getting stop. the brand new PS4 version of Dustin Elysian Tale. That game's great. It's pretty uh, good. Splunky on PS4. That game's Drive great. Club, you're getting the PS Plus edition. So whatever, that, you know, that was supposed to come out on the launch, but it got pushed back. So it's not the full game, hmm. but it's oh, okay. I was is out now. Okay. No. Oh. It's simulation um, racing. Arkham Asylum. What? Who wants that? That game's on the Ouya. <laughs> That's the good one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, Asylum was good. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> I think is Asylum is one? better. Asylum is better than City in my opinion. Oh, easily. Not even a question. Mm. I I can yeah. see where you're going. I don't know if I fully agree though. But. I mean, it's just denser and more detailed. Like it's got more character, but City's good too. I, I think I, city's yeah. scale and scope is a little too broad and kind of like it works against it. Kind of. It does. Yeah. yeah. It Asylum. Asylum was just right. Asylum hit every note practically perfect. I didn't actually mind the sewer might, stuff either. Might be able to go yeah. down this rabbit hole with you. I'm what curious a, to see how the third one's going to be. That rock what about Batman one. for the Sega Game Gear? <laughs> From having played that, it's not as good. Weirdly, they talk about the Game Gear so much and almost never bring up the battery issue, which is all I think of. Yeah, and they the needed six double A's? Six of them. It's just like, how and is this a competitive thing? Not only is it needing six double A's, but it lasts like two hours. It just, it, like, it, it's basically like a garbage for your double A's. You just put, put them in there, and then they're done. Are you done with the, Do you not want these? We'll put them in here, and we'll get rid of them for you. Well, yeah, we'll you don't them. want any more power in these batteries because we're really good at just making it go away really fast. Yeah. Um, Picks the Cat coming to PS4 and Vita. I guess that's a new game. Okay. Um, and Rainbow Moon PS3 and Vita. I guess this is a new game too. So that's two new games. Ooh. Uh, wait. Hang on. Rainbow. New Sorry, I got that wrong. Rainbow Moon is not a new game. It came out two years ago. I don't know what this is. It looks like a tactics fighting thing. What is Picks the Cat? Tactics fighting game. Picks, Picks the, the Cat. cat is new that'll be a that's coming out on the 7th so that's a new game it's a fast-paced top-down arcade action game where the eponious picks must race through multi-segmented levels levels and <laughs> rescue flocks of poor little ducklings all right or that is interesting it's free though Those are free games yeah so it's fine that's a that's all the news i saw windows 10 Anyway. Oh, yeah, I, Windows 10 is... I don't... Yep, just, they just skipped 9. I actually saw, and I don't know how accurate this is, but a reason for it was because in a lot of their coding, there's statements that, like, when you when it sees the phrase Windows 9 something, do something, for all of the Windows, like, 95, 98, so they couldn't do Windows 9, because I would just... It would confuse all, of all these old applications and stuff, yeah. That was I don't know correct. how accurate it was, but it's like, oh, that kind of makes a lot of sense. Just as a catch-all for any 90s version of Windows, they just put that in instead of specifying. Exactly, sure. yeah. Yeah. It's like a mini Y2K all over again. Questions. But just for Windows. Yeah, right. I guess questions. All right. I can't see them, so. Right. First question comes in from Enzo. He's Oh, actually, hang on. Nathan, if people want to send in questions, where should they send them to? Uh, TopDownPerspective at gmail.com. That's, that's still active. Uh, there's a there's a Twitter account yep. at TDP Podcast. Still post there. Is there an underscore or anything? I forget. Nope. 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 Okay, cool. Uh, and then there's still a Facebook page. And yep. I think the Steam group is more active now because Paul's actually doing stuff. Is that Paul's true? doing tons of stuff. Every All right. Saturday, we a, we're trying to do something. We got a curator page. Wow. So, yeah. Check out Steam. <laughs> Top down perspective. Check out Steam. <laughs> Don't ask questions there, though. That's inefficient. <laughs> Uh, Enzo so yeah, writes, email, Facebook. You can, however, though, just side note, send real letters to John. We've read those yeah, before. We... What? Yeah, yeah, what's John's happened. address? Go. I don't know. <laughs> but he has a P.O. box, right? That's that where they sent yeah, it. Yeah, that's where we, we got a few it. letters. The it's other not week. my actual home address, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. That was a real thing that happened. All right. I Enzo writes, 
What are some must-play games for the Wii, GameCube, and PC? Probably Deadly Creatures for Wii. <laughs> Probably. We're gonna. Find I want to play that so goddamn bad. It looks. Yeah. Uh, it's so weird. I'm so happy I managed to snag one before it disappeared forever. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, Muscle March. Oh, <laughs> Rhythm man, Heaven I Fever. Forgot about that. Rhythm Heaven Fever is good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Metro Prime 3 based on my time with it. It's actually pretty sweet. It makes me really regret not buying Prime Trilogy when that was a new thing. That was The Galaxy games bars. have to be there, I guess. Uh, Twilight Princess. Yo, how Skyward you about Sword. That Smash Brothers, because GameCube and Wii both have Smash Brothers games. Mm. They both I haven't have gotten to GameCube games. yet. Yeah, GameCube. Tales of Symphonia. Yep. Mm. The Metal Gear Solid Darkness. Snakes. The original like, Animal Crossing was great. It Ik was. It Ik has Ik NES yeah. games in it. Ikaruga. Does is Billy Hatcher good? Because I bought it. I want to play that. I hear so many mixed things, but they're usually good mixed. He's okay. in every compilation game, and there's only one of his games. So apparently, back when it was Needle Mouse versus an egg for like the Sonic, like the Sega launch game stuff, like that was that was a debate. An egg almost made it through, but not. I guess for the relaunch in America. Anyway, sorry. Eggs. Sega has history with eggs. That's why. That's all I'm bringing up. Uh, Wind Waker I, is pretty good on the GameCube. Rogue Squad or Rogue Leader, sorry, Rogue Squadron 2. Oh, wait, GameCube stuff's right here. Beautiful Joe 1 and 2. I still need to play those. I like the WarioWare Inc. I know it's a port, but it has stupid mini games like for multiplayer. It's actually kind of fun. The Resident Evil remake? Yeah. I'll, I like the Resident Evil games on it. Zero, not so much, but. So dance cool. dance revolution mario mix don't play that <laughs> but waluigi's the villain <clears throat> is he yeah he is actually oh i'm glad i own that game okay all right guys what are some must play games on the pc guys oh for fuck sake, <laughs> really Every uh, shadow of mordor i guess that sounds like sure. a hot new title like uh, do you have friends you could play with over the internet or no because that determines changes the things. list a lot you could emulate everything. Play all the consoles. Play, play GameCube games. games. That's true. We're not answering that one. Mitchell writes in. A couple fighting game related questions for you guys. Okay, I'm out. I'm out too. <laughs> okay. John, this is on you. It's what me. are your impressions on the Smash Bros. battle pads being manufactured by PDP and Hori? He puts two links in the thing if we want to see them, by yeah, the way. I'm taking a look at them right now. I am considering getting the Hori battle pad since it looks the closest to an official GameCube controller, and I can use it with Wii games. Um, my initial reaction is, why don't you just get the Nintendo one that they're reissuing? That is I just a GameCube controller right there. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Yeah. But it's ugly looking. I've, I thought, at least. I always thought the GameCube controller was ugly. So Nathan, I'll put these in the... Uh, these are Skype the ones... Like, PDP were specifically contacted to make these. They were showing these off at E3. Hmm. I thought Mad Cats was the one making them. The, nope. the official ones. Nope, PDP. Hmm. There's they, two links they've for always, you. They've always okay. made like all Nintendo accessories, pretty much. Who's Cory Battle Pad? No, it's who's got making, a Mario who's making the official on ones for the game? Yeah, for the for the Wii U. That PDP, has, as far as I know of, are doing that. I thought it was Mad Cats. Oh, here we go. Apparently not. I th I thought they did like Street Fighter Four fight sticks, but let's see. I, th I don't know. It's got it's got an egg on this one. You know, there's a peach themed one. That's kind of cool. Right? But, yeah. Sure. GameCube controllers. Yeah. If you want official, real, old GameCube controllers, you can still get them. But they're like. See, but the stuff he sent are like weird colors, whereas this, yeah. this official one, it has like the Smash symbol in the middle. Mm. As, as, as far as I know of, they were all. Or the, uh, the ones that he's showing here, the fight pads are also supposed to work as, like, pro controllers. Hmm. I'm not saying who made this. So I believe that's Nintendo. the case. But these should be PDP, and that Hori one kind of looks nice, actually. But I don't know. I am I already have enough GameCube controllers lying around that I'm fine. But I'm going to get the set that comes with the one, and I'll just see how it goes from there. Like, if it comes with the game, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't... 
I don't really like the colors. So it's sort of wired, but it plugs into a remote, I guess. Yeah. It it plugs into a hub basically. Mm. All right, and the second question. I'm not a professional fighter by any means, but I would like to try to get into the hype sometime. I have heard that 2013's Killer Instinct has one of the best tutorials in fighting games, but I have no intention of getting an Xbox One anytime soon. Damn it. Xbox turn off if Sean reads this. It didn't turn off. Uh, Mortal Kombat <laughs> you know, you know, does not it, seem No, I didn't. Mortal Kombat does not seem like it would help either, since the inputs seem too simple. With this in mind, what are the best fighting games that beginners like myself can play? I own a Wii U and eventually a gaming PC. I wouldn't say Mortal Kombat's too simple. Mortal Kombat would be my recommendation. I, I really like Mortal Kombat. It's Dive on kick. PC, right? Mortal Kombat's Dive stiffer, kick. so I could see why he would think that it's simpler, but it would, actually, it would still work fine, all things considered. Is dive kick actually valuable? Is kind of a, I don't know, the timing of just watching what your other per- the other person's doing. Like some the people only th- have made an argument for it. The only thing I could see for sure dive kick helping you out with fucking you mind games. Okay. And learning to read opponents because there's not much they can do. So you start learning what their possible moves are in certain situations. So there is merit to it to learning like the fundamentals, but it of, won't help you if you, if you jump. Another person. Yeah, but if you you won't teach you like to do a combo in street fighter basically obviously not yeah yeah okay Okay. so remember wii u and pc so mortal kombat's on pc right so get that we we, his options are wii u and pc that's what he says that's what he has yeah street fighter uh there yeah the only street fighter 2 is like the only fighting game on wii u right now that i can think of Hmm. because there are no proper fighting games on wii u but street fighter 4 is on pc as well right yeah so correct yeah so street fighter 4 Skull okay, Girls, but if you maybe? had to say, if you had to like recommend, like Skull Girls would actually have a pretty good tutorial, so I'd probably say Skull Girls. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. If you could pick one game to like, and in, you know, introduce someone, what would you pick? So, uh, out of the, with the two systems he has, I'd probably would go with Skull Girls. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say Air Dash Academy on YouTube. Just a shout out to my friend who is a part of that. Might help you if you learn some stuff. Oh yeah, watch like videos from people who are in the fighting game scene, like Maximilian and stuff like that. You'll you can learn a lot just from YouTube alone. Yep. And go to Shor- go to Shore You can like every fighting game. <laughs> and you can go to YouTube on oh, your Wii U. Oh wow! How did I forget PC, about Tekken Tag so. Tournament Two? I yeah, there is a fighting game on Wii U. Sorry about that. Oh, it just okay. will not teach you how to play fighting games. There's I don't think any tutorial in that practically. Mm. Okay, there you go. So don't get that. <laughs> it's no, it's fun. Like it's to mess around with. So you will like you can learn 3D fighters, but it won't teach you fundamentals. Tekken games are so good, so good. Virtual Fighter is good, but not for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Virtual Fighter. I mean, there something. are tutorials, but they kind of they don't play like any like, other fighting move. game, though. <laughs> it's true. I guess like each character is very distinct. So yeah, probably mm-hmm. not. This next one, I'm just kind of curious about. <clears throat> so Cody writes in and says, John, could you host the TDP podcast on your Twitch page like you did the co-optional podcast? If you already do, then I feel bad for asking. I'm mainly asking because I can't watch this podcast. The video pauses a lot. And I'm curious if it would be different on your it page. It wouldn't change what? anything. It wouldn't, cha- it wouldn't change, but I can host it. Like, and by host, he doesn't mean like it. Lo- we load up on my channel when we do it. It's more uh, it's I put mode. the channel into hosting mode. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I was just wondering, is would that actually affect anything? No. Just no. Like a techni- yeah, I didn't think so. It would just basically put this video feed on his link. That's all it does, essentially. Cool. Good to know. Quez Ninjas. Queso Ninja. Right. Queso Ninja, yeah. Queso Ninjas. I think we did the Cheese same thing ninja. last week. What is your favorite moment on Family Guy Meet the Simpson? Did any never, of you guys watch never that? Never saw it, I, but I saw a picture of James Woods from Family Guy meeting James okay. Woods from I, the Simpsons. Okay, that's it. That, I, I watched the wins. intro, the couch gag, and it was amazing. That's all I watched. I didn't God, see the rest of it. I just you're saw You're going to make me up. watch this tonight. You, know? you need to watch it. It is Fuck. so good. It I don't is want amazing. It. No, it is so no, good. No, I'm taking a stand here, Sean. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> The couch gag, for, like I didn't, like I said, I didn't see any of that episode. I just saw the YouTube video of the couch gag. It's like two minutes long, and it's like 
what would Simpsons look like like eighteen thousand years from now? Yeah, and they're all just these like horrific monster things that just scream <laughs> stuff. So Bart's constantly going like, "Don't cowman!" like over and over again. But the Marge character is amazing because she just keeps yelling things like, "All animals can scream." <laughs> Okay, so what I'm picturing in my head as you're talking is infinitely better than this could actually be watching it, so thank you. That's my favorite part. You need you need to watch that opening. It's so good. It is so good. Um, so yeah, everyone needs to look that up. I don't know if you need to watch the uh, actual episode. Okay, right. fair enough. Um, people are saying don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just one guy. Just one right. guy's. Just one guy saying, "Don't watch it," and he's wrong. It's hilarious. You gotta watch that opening. Andrew writes, "Since Smash Bros. for 3DS releases tonight, do any of you have any special memories of the series?" Melee, fucking like twenty <laughs> hours of playing that, just straight. Just only twenty hours? No, I mean like the first night oh. I got it. <laughs> oh, I see. Like just straight through with my buddy and just all night playing it yep. all night. I oh, I played so many marathon sessions into Melee. Yep. All my good memories come from Melee. Yep. Uh, I, I have the whole series for me. Uh, back in junior high, me and my friends used to play it all the time on Friday nights. Oh, nice. And then when we were graduating, we were doing the same with Melee. Mm -hmm. And then I did that for the first couple years of university. Then Brawl came out. And then the last half of university was playing Brawl a ton. <laughs> yeah. And now the only thing that makes me sad is this one's going to be trickier because I don't have as many local friends that are in the smash or like, yeah, we've all like that's the thing done our own thing. So mm -hmm. I might, unfortunately might be at the point in my life where it's not going to have the same impact. I'm, I'm already worried right now. Like I'm going to play smash only single player to unlock stuff. And then like, yeah, I'm done for now. I'm a, I'm a feeling that's going to be the same for me as well. My great cool memory though, is every like lunch during school going to my house. Cause I live like three blocks away with my friends every single day. And we playing smash for like 45 minutes. Jeez. Nice. I have no like such specific other than like trying to make a black hole on this one. There's like a weird glitch. You oh, can that do. was cool too. Black hole. What on is this? Melee. Yeah, I yeah. think it's on that that one Zelda themed level or whatever it is with the castle in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can just toss stuff and it makes this weird glitch thing happen. Need, I don't. You need two foxes or falcos. Uh, you need a Samus. A, no, well, that you okay. can do it with Samus too. But uh, the traditional version was two foxes, falcos, a peach, and a super scope. Oh, oh! It's the super scope, right? So yeah, yeah you get you the do? two. You get the two fox or falcos to to use the reflector to keep bouncing the charge shot. Okay. From the the uh, cannon back and forth, and then eventually, like it gets reflected so much, it stays in place. Peach starts throwing turnips into it so that it just starts becoming like ridiculous and becomes a black hole of damage that slows down the system itself. Yeah. And then oh, if, man. You, if you and whoever jumps into it instantly takes nine 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 damage and flies off screen. Yeah, that's awesome. So just dumb stuff like that, trying to make that happen. Uh, and I guess kicking the sandbag with Falco, like Captain Falcon, and it just flies straight up. And yep. you, mm -hmm. I don't know. How do you solve that? I never figured it out. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. My friends and I used to, we had a mini game inside of the game where we would play on, this is Melee again. What, it, I forget what the stage is. One of Captain Falcon stages, and it's not the one where you're on the ship horizontally. It's when you're on the racetrack. Okay. Oh. Mm. Mute City. Mute City. Okay. And but we turn all the items off except for Mr. Saturn and we turn that up to like max. So you get a whole bunch of Mr. Saturns <laughs> and the entire goal was to just don't let Mr. Saturn fall off the stage. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have like 99 lives and we would play all the way until someone's dead, but it's just no matter what, you get Mr. Saturn back on the stage. <laughs> So it's a lot of like diving off the stage and hitting them back up or like throwing a Mr. Saturn to another guy to knock on back onto the stage. That was silly. We we played that game a lot. <laughs> that sounds great. That yeah. does actually kind of sound fun. That was weird. Um okay. Mm -hmm. Konagami writes two questions to Paul. Since you're big on MMOs, have you ever given Final Fantasy XIV a shot? Yes, I have. Great. For everyone, if you were forced to play a game you hated to 100% completion, this is, this is such a dumb question. To save a loved one, would you do it? Of course. <laughs> yes, because I've well, already done the that. The last part makes it 
oh, okay. But, <laughs> yeah, like, would you normally... If I have to, that? if I have to save them by playing video games... To 100% completion. Like, yeah. Of course. For yep. me, that might actually be, like, replaying Bully Scholarship Edition, because I almost had it, and I got to, like, 99.7%, <laughs> and then tweaked my save and broke it so I couldn't load it anymore. Oh. So I didn't get the 100%. I didn't get How the last How do you get out of bed every day? I know. Right. Like, if I ever look at... That's why I had to give up on achievements. <laughs> I had to stop. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to cut it off here, guys. And it's really because of that hidden shame. I never finished Bully Scholarship. Andrew writes, which style do you prefer? Old school 2D Mario or modern 3D Mario? 2D. 2D. I really I mean, like 3D Land and 3D... 3D, yeah. has, 3D has its charm, but I, they're completely different things, but I feel like more precise with 2D. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, actually, I, I gotta go 2D. Some of those are just too good. guess so, yeah. Between World and 3, keep going back. Yeah. Christopher writes, who is your favorite game character that you would never want to live the life of or know personally? Uh... So just just War- Wario. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. It's basically just name your favorite asshole character. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I mean, Wario is a pretty good one. Wario is yeah, Wario is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't want to know personally. I can't think of anyone else. <clears throat> Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm, like what? It's just like Toad or like Peach or somebody. But it's like, I, I was gonna say like Nathan Drake because his life kind of sucks. But yeah, I, I'd also kind of like to hang out with Nathan Drake. So hmm. Paul writes, "What's a game a friend recommended to you that you didn't expect to enjoy but loved immensely?" I wouldn't say loved immensely, but I actually liked uh, Mario 3D Land. Was that the DS one? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that one. Because I was game's I, great. I don't like 3D Mario games. I like that one. So there. It's kind of like a mix, like a hybrid. Sure. I'll pro- I'll probably say Hotline Miami. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Okay. But no one loaned you Hotline Miami. Mm, no, they said suggested it. Did they? Oh, re- yeah, recommended. Right. Okay. Um, World of Warcraft seven years ago. Yeah. <sighs> dangerous i did that to somebody else and then hooked them <laughs> real bad and i got out like i was just like yeah i did a month what and you're just like yeah i'm still playing, oh, keep playing. it's been like, 10 oh. years i know i'm still going <laughs> yeah it's like i found a free wi- wi-fi in town i'm playing there like, what <laughs> what are you doing like just crazy online problems so yeah uh maybe back way back that stupid game that kept coming up before runescape it was recommended mm. to me, and I actually was quite into it. Have you guys beaten that without me? Did you guys finally make so it? So here's the question for we you. We don't even like, know what that, podcast that's you're on, talking about. That's on Podbean, right? Like the RuneScape podcast on Podbean? I don't know. It was just no, on, on the on top. I, on iTunes. iTunes. Oh, on, on iTunes. Okay. Yeah. That's the difference. Because I was going to say, I looked on Podbean. There's a RuneScape podcast that updates every week. Okay. And hot, yes, and yes, oh, I thought, are John, I thought you looked on iTunes. I knew it was on iTunes. Oh, no, I asked. Was it, was it Podbean or something else? Oh, you didn't ask me. <laughs> I can't think of a game someone recommended to me that I didn't expect to enjoy. Because I usually just won't play it. <laughs> I don't expect to enjoy it. I can't think of one. Last question. It better be good. James writes, do you think they will localize Fatal Frame 5 even though Fatal Frame 4 was only released in Europe and Japan? I don't know because there's a push for it. Wait, did I don't even think Fatal Frame 4 even made it to Europe. I think it was just Japan. Uh, it was Europe. There, then you're calling before. James a liar. No, James no, I, actually I, wrote I, like two paragraphs. I cut it down to the basic question. It's fine. Do you want me to read the full question out? Maybe. Well, does it add more like... It adds more titles of games. It doesn't add more to the question. I don't think we need to then. Yeah. Uh, he also says, also, have you played any of the Fatal Frame games? Mm-hmm. And do you guys know about Operation Zero? And would you be interested in playing the new Fatal Frame if it was localized uh, in an American, Canadian, and European shores? I can't do them. They stress me out. I don't do horror games, so no. 
I, I started I've, one on PS3. Sorry, sorry. There was uh, Fatal Frame 2 was a downloadable PSN thing, mm-hmm. and it actually looks pretty nice on the PS3, but I didn't keep playing it. I, I didn't get to anything stressful either. I was just like, oh, man, I just hit start, and this just keeps going. There's just cut scenes and, like, these two sisters, and I, I, I was just making sure this worked, so I'm going to play this later. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, John, what was the Fatal Frame? I really like Fatal Frame 2. I played it through to completion, loved it. Crimson Butterfly. So yep. you're you want Fatal Frame Five? I'd be down for that. But the problem is the last Fatal Frame we got was Spirit Camera for the 3DS. Oh right, yeah. Which I heard was not a long game. So at all, I don't think we're gonna get it. I would love for us to get it because isn't like Suda or someone working on this? I was gonna ask if yeah. I thought Suda had something to do with the series at some point or did did one of those, but yeah. Hmm. I'm not a guaranteed purchase though, so I don't know why they'd localize it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not either. I, I would at least I would at least buy it to support it. I don't know if okay. I get a chance to play it, but I would at least buy it to support it. I guess they could just do a digital release now if they, you know, want to save some production. That's what they maybe. should do. The Wii U needs more games. Plain and simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just hey, it's on the shop. It's forty bucks or something. Check it out. Weird Japanese horror game. We translated it. Yeah. See then the fans would be like the diehards would go for it. So yeah. Hmm. All right, uh, that's it for questions. If you guys want to write in next week, it's uh, topdownperspective at gmail.com, uh, at TDP Podcast on Twitter or the Facebook page. Guys, what's your games of the week? Oh, shoot. I have so many to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. Shadow. Mine would be uh, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Shadow of Mordor. Uh, and- Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. And I like this book. I brought a, I brought a book. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I brought a book. All right, was, all right, guys, what's your books of the week? Uh, Console Wars. All right. <laughs> it's John? old, apparently, but yeah. <laughs> the instruction manual for Hyrule Warriors. All right, oh, Paul, what's your book of the week? This. Hold on. Oh, everything <laughs> falls off it. How your cat is plotting to kill you. Ooh, good okay. choice. I don't... Did I read any book this week? Oh, no. <laughs> um... I didn't. I don't think I read any. I don't think I read any words this week. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I read. I read all your guys' emails. There you go. There you go. Best book You're of the welcome. week. <laughs> all right. Hey Nathan, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, we'll be back next week, guys. See you later. See us. <laughs>